Hi, welcome back to the game of Monster Prom 2, Monster Camp. Um, I think I might be going back to the woods here on the week 4. When you're hiking through the woods, you accidentally step on a pile of leaves covering a massive hole. It was a trap, an evil goblin hunter. Is it a goblin who hunts, or someone who hunts goblins? You will never know! A pair, uh, pairs, they were the one who put the trap in there. This isn't your done, you get ready to embrace that. But the goblin hunter only set the trap to get someone to help them to do their math homework. They will only let you leave if you help them. You don't have any other option here. It's a bit boring, but you actually learn some useful calculate calcul cal calculus. You gain two plus smart. Yay! Break a hi! What are you doing? Not important. It's time to kill Winter. I tracked her down. Her name is Brahma, and she lives in Alaska, in a place made of ice and crowd iron. Let's go! You hesitate for a moment because Alaska sucks, but Scott triggers a travel montage before you can object. One plane, one bus, and one tauntaun ride later. <laughs> you stab before the palace of the Herald of Winter. Heart colors opens with a tremulous grating noise. Who dares approach in my sunshine? Below the Harold who looks like Elsa from Frozen, but wearing a Christmas sweater, <laughs> emblazoned with the words, This is not copyright <laughs> infringement. <laughs> what is happening here, guys? Yeah, I don't know what is. It is I, Scott, and I have come. On behalf of the Herald of Summer to melt you into fluid. Foolish mortals is also. I mean, Brahma. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I, I, I can't do this. <clears throat> you cannot defeat the mighty winter. That is by far the rest of the Sorry, I can't do this. I'm not on this also. I mean, Brahma something. <laughs> what? Impossible! Summer has all the best things! Revealing swimsuits, sweating, professionally, the Summer Olympics! Indeed! Says Bruma. But winter has bitter cold, not being able to go outside, and winter Olympics! Curses! She's right, damn those figure skaters and their s- Why? Bikinis! Yes, you cannot stand against me, smiling Brahma. Now run along, I had lunch with Sarah Palin in an hour. No, you can't give up so easily. Surely there must be a way to ruin winter and defeat this Harold. Wait, you got it. Invite all her rela relatives to a holiday dinner, then emboss them with politicians. <laughs> Sucks, give her sucks. <laughs> Wait! Wait. Why does I have a bad feeling about this? I don't feel like politician is a good way of doing this. Invite all her relatives to a holiday dinner. Then ambush them with polit politicians. And with politics. Po po poli is it politic polit politician? Maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Politics. Yeah, yeah, it's actually politics. Or sucks. Give her sucks. I don't know which one is best. Probably go with sucks! Truly a friendly plan, here juice and me, my ever-guessy socks. 
You ask her why she's carrying a Saranda pair of hamburgers and socks. They are endless useful. You can fill one with gary tears and use it as a blackjack. Or turn it into a sock puppet to keep her yourself company while stranded on a deserted island, you know. It's really good. Okay, Scott, this is going really weird. <laughs> Okay. And if you ever find yourself without socks to wear, you can use an emergency sock as a ski mask and rub a sock store. <laughs> okay, and then you get even more socks. But of course, the most powerful use of all is to give them as a gift to your enemy. Those totally demoralizing them because they expected something better. Quick, put them in a a laboratory rapid box and a fix a thoughtful note that's that would show her you do as I instructed and quickly present Bromo with the gift what's this she says a present for me just a moment ago we were about to fight but I'm so delighted I forgot all about that let's see what's inside shall we oh my it sucks what the hell are you guys you knew I wanted a Bath tube made of crystals, you knew! Uh, I don't ever wear socks, I wear leggings. Socks are totally incontrolled with my charistic third design. It's not even Christmas, and you ruin Christmas! You ruin it too bad! There is never going to be Christmas again! I quit! <laughs> Bruma melts into a bur very annoyed liquid before your eyes. You've done it, Winter is defeated. All the snow in Alaska melts, and all the reindeer... No! Not the reindeer! Search the <laughs> No, it's so you sad! God damn it! I can't believe I did it. Why? Why is socks the greatest power of weapon? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Never trust socks. Guys, never do it. Never do it. Please, never. Great work, Rekha. Maybe it's just the sudden climate change, but I think I feel myself warming up to you. It's definitely the climate change. Let's get to ruin. But you gain two boldness and white creativity, so it's all. Evens out. I have a bad feeling about that. Okay, um. Evening. Where should I go? Yeah, let's go to the camp dome. Today, a camp dome. The game is seven minutes in heaven. Extreme. Oh my god. God, this is like the best game ever now. <laughs> you volunteer yourself as tribute for your camp. You put on some lip balm, ready for some hot kissing, but it seems you got the rules wrong. In 7 minutes in heaven extreme, they straight up murder you and you need to stay in literal heaven for 7 minutes. This... Have you repeated? You're a... Are you sure you're going to hell? But no heaven, it's beautiful, it's all you ever wanted. You want to stay, but they bring you back to life. You are shared by your teammates, but you will never be the same after being taken from heaven. You do look more heavenly though, and that translates into plus two charm. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> okay, this is not what they're supposed to look like, people. <laughs> Later, you see Veronica and Scott training together for the next dome games. They are both covered in blood, and the ground is littered with dissembled bodies. Uh, it's terrifying, but they both look extremely hot covered. In Hell yeah! Carnage! What's your next training exercise, fellow warrior? My all-time favorite, the three-legged brace will crush the necks of our enemies at the camp rival camp. 
or with our in sync stepping. Yeah. Uh, Veronica grabs a rope to tie her leg to Scott, but Scott blushes and says, Oh, no. oh wow, Veronica, I didn't realize that you wanted to get more serious. What are you talking about? You must learn juggernaut. Well, it seems like you're suggesting some kind of fusion. Call me old fashioned, but I take fusion very seriously. It's the most erotic method of teamwork. Oh, I get it. Yes, I got. Um, you're totally right that Gusha can be sexual, but it doesn't have to be. Yep, yeah, it's true. Just look at me and Veronica. The bond between Curse and Cursed is technically. a technically our form of, of fusion, and we are totally platonic BFF. Oh, wow, Plantonic Fusion! That sounds awesome and powerful and emotionally nourishing. I know, right? Okay, we told her how to do this fusion. We are already unstoppable, but once we're fused, we will be un unstoppable. <laughs> oh my god, I can feel I can feel this. I, I don't want to see a fusion between this. <laughs> this is horrifying for me. <laughs> Please, Scott, don't. I mean, be my Scott. Oh yeah, baby. Time for some plastonic leg stuff. No, wait. Fusion can be very intense. We need to make sure our friendship is, is as strong as possible in our hearts and in our legs before we do this. That totally makes sense. My body Ralph fused with an acquaintance he didn't know that well. Long story short, the fusion went wrong and they accidentally switched it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, like, wait, are you even having a donut? Uh, give me some donuts, please. Alright, first up, friendship strengthened, and after that, platonic free legged future. You're totally on board with this incredible Legosian train of folks, but how would you strengthen Scott and Veronica's friendship so they can fuse properly? Uh, Brad, the most bad uh, uh, friendship bracelet ever. Arrange a casual yet platonic date for the girls' legs so they can get to know each other better. I don't know which one I'm gonna go. <laughs> I, I slightly go for the legs to have a day. <laughs> I just feel like that is actually a ridiculous thing, and I think I actually would lose something if I do that. Uh, Bray, the most badass friendship bracelet ever. It's like both going for like more being a badass than. If I would actually do that with the legs, I'm having date legs. Also, this is like I don't want to screw anything up here because I I'm going actually after uh, Veronica here. Um, basically, that's. We're in the customs. <sighs> uh, she's more into competition. Scott's more that. Oh, dude, this is so. I ran a closer. The most badass friendship brush bracelet ever. Uh, I think I'm going for the bracelet because I, I don't know if date's gonna work. You have two legs dating, but even a bra bracelet might actually not work either. But we're at camp. 
This is... You, oh yeah, I that. You depart on a holy quest for forge the most powerful friendship bracelet of all time. You craft a bracelet in the fires of Mount Curved using ancient threads of unicorn name May. You strike it with your secret crafting hammer until your hands are colors of blood. If I'm making the raid now, I, I think I should probably have to get the left. You also make sure to pick pretty colors and even zoom in everyone's image. <gasps> wow, it's pretty dope actually. It looks powerful and exciting. Wait, are we sure this isn't cursed? Because I've been tricked before. <laughs> Don't worry, Veronica. This is no curse. I feel it in my warrior soul. It's time to pierce plant on the game. You loop the friendship bracelet onto Scott and Veronica's ankles. Completing the platonic fusion, dear gods, the power of friendship is pumping through our veins. Our legs have become our leg. The three-legged race is only the beginning. With three legs, we can hold a camera with unparalleled levels of stamina. We can finally play Mega Sucker and pretend our third leg is a. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Freak away, please! No! <laughs> Scott, we can even handle the most terrifying test of interpersonal coordination sharing a plate of spaghetti. Oh my god! Spaghetti. Huh? Wait a second. You two could have shared spaghetti before you fused. We could have been doing that this yeah. whole time, but could we have eaten spaghetti with our leg tied together? Ha! <laughs> That's a whole new level of intimacy! You watch Scott and Veronica split a plate of spaghetti. Scott handled the knife, and Veronica handled the fork. You all completely forget about the race in your ex examine to eat pasta together, but it's also the word that you gain. Plus two charm and one boldness and away. Okay, I did do the right decision. It's good. Okay, it's the night. I and soon we are basically done. Okay. I go into I, I go into sit here because I really Later you find Poppy and Veronica hanging out near the campfire. This is normal. Wait, Poppy? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Go to... With sunglasses? Oh man, that's a great thing. What did I actually took for costumes? <laughs> it's actually good. Um, they are gathered around an uh, area of blood stained skull made entirely out of gold and of jewels. It looks priceless beyond words. This isn't mod. It's super beautiful and it looks anatomically accurate. I wonder if they used a real life skull as a mod or if it's just an actual skull casting gold. Either way, it's badass. It's pretty that I don't want to eat it. I never felt this way before. Is this love, you guys? Is this feeling love? <laughs> I mean, obviously this thing is both one, a dangerous magic object with incredible power and two, an insightful metaphor about how capitalism entangles our minds in endless greed. You ask them what the fuck is up with this super Wax skull. Oh, this? Is it obviously? It's a MacGuffin. Wait, MacGuffin? That MacGuffin? Please don't tell me it's that. That is an object that's going to be very necessary to the plot and central to the motivation of the main characters. Wait, is that for me? Probably it's totally right. You have no idea what this skull is for, but you can feel the narrative importance 
radiating off it. We're not really sure what the skull actually does, or wherever it came from, or if it's cursed and going to drive us into a bit of insanity that makes us eat our own hair. <laughs> but either, who cares? Ah, uh, MacGuffin, this awesome is guaranteed to have a huge narrative payoff. Must begin. They are always so satisfying. This is going to be such a good start to my next adventure. Uh, am I? I'm. Uh, well, um. Oh, sorry. Um, excuse me. Did you just say your next that adventure? Veronica. When we stumble upon this golden skull on that strange altar in ruin, in the ruins of the temple of Ichthus, I think it was pretty obviously it was there for me. I'm the main character. Huh? Uh, wait, wait, hey, hey guys, I'm the main character here. Hilarious, puppy. Sorry to burst your bubble out, but you're definitely a bit tired side character for comic relief. Your bit is that you think you're the main character. I got everything a main character needs emotional, backstory, blood loss, high DPS, and now I'm going to add that six skull to my inventory, too. Veronica, I really do understand. Un oh, sorry, understand where you're coming from because my deep empathy is what makes me such a good leader and natural protagonist but I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken that skull is mine I'm certain that it's going to inspire at least a free episode arc it's way more in my genre than yours <laughs> you guys are both wrong I'm the main character this is luckily multiplayer comedy dating same video game and that skull is made of chocolate <laughs> why is this totally breaking the <laughs> breaking the fourth wall here <laughs> whenever the main character is you're sure of one thing it's not you so help decide which one of those honeys gets that mecca thing Sometimes this heavy is going to take up at least three inventory slots. Joy is the only one here with the requested inventory space. According to D&D, Beyond, this item has a 3 plus consideration modifier and is the best wield healed by someone with the high armor class. Only Arari could use it properly. I think probably only already could use it properly. So I'm gonna go for DD because I love it. I hope I'm making the right decision! You knew you recognized the skull from somewhere. You whip out your dungeon master guide and flip to the inventory catalog where you find the entry for the skull of Almond. Veronica grabs your DM guide and starts waving it on top of his face. It's pretty adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Puppy love, I totally get the skull because this book said so. It's right there on the page and everything. You love books so much. You're, so you just have to trust this yeah, one. Sucker. Remember how you're always being annoying about Fancy to read a book by yourself? Well, maybe you can read this one. Spoiler alert, it says I'm right and you're wrong. Ha! Best book ever. Read it and read it. Man. <laughs> Why are you having so much into that character? That was sad. <laughs> Heck. Heck, hate, hey, help me. Alright, Veronica. Freaking fucks out of respect for books. I back down. Enjoy the movie. Wait, she's 
nasılsın doğru? Ray for the jackpot here. Puppy leaves and you're expecting Veronica to investigate the score, but she's way more interested in your DM guy. Wow, have you seen all those cool gear in this book? Listen to this. <coughs> There's an item called the mental health kit. That impulse with the power of free therapy sessions. Yeah. Holy shit, that's dope. And check out the Infinity Stream Collapser. It has magic that combines every TV streaming service into one mega stream. I can watch it all. <laughs> oh my god, there are just so much to choose from. I need the beer hands and the goblin deponor for short. And a better horniness detector could come in handy. <laughs> Wait, horniness detector? <laughs> This is going so much. But the coolest item of all is definitely the hammer of emotional character. Victorious. I don't care what it takes, I'm gonna make that my default weapon. Dang, I never expect the book to be fun, Rick. Okay? We are gonna get an adventure, adventure until we find all the shit. I'm gonna be so buffed that my stats will look like a phone I mean, number. So thanks, I guess. It made me happy when you said I was the main character, but don't read too much into it. Oh, just blush you both section blush you know. Nice, Veronica may be the main character and so we may be the comic relief, but you're definitely a contender for the love interest. Praise to be praise to Praise be to bring out your. I've used my skill. I would use my skill. What happens if I use my skill? Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. You're new here. Don't quit. Let me explain how this works. This is why they are simple. I have a selection of drinks at the home. Get your hands, come on. There's a little time to think. Shoot a drink quickly, someone else maybe take it. I push you, get pushed. And these drinks, looks, shoes, whatever you want. But I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. I'm a witch, I've been training for years, so it has been blah blah blah. Yeah, you know, oh my good luck. Uh, drink me. Wait, what, what did I get? <laughs> toilet juice? What? Don't drink the toilet juice. I just have it, it here because Polly insisted that I offered it as a market instant. This shit cannot do anything Which good. Mouth should I pour it into? <laughs> this is the part where I leave before you puke all over. Ciao. Oh crap. But will I probably use it? Well, we will see that at the end of the next ever episode of this game. And thanks everyone for watching because now it's week 5. And then we'll go to week 5. Oh wait, well actually it will be fine the next time. Hopefully it will be totally there. But be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything and hit the bell button too to stay notified when that episode comes. Until then, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!